Good day, parents. I wonder if you have a story of generosity to tell. I can think of a few times that I was completely caught off guard by an act of generosity. I often wonder if the person who I believe was an instrument in God's hand ever realized how much their generosity meant to me. Feel free to tell each other about times you either experienced generosity or could really be generous in something that you gave to someone. We're still busy with our theme of words for a way of life and this week we focus on this word, generosity. Henry Nowen says, Every time I take a step in the direction of generosity, I know I'm moving from fear to love. Perhaps it's because living generously requires us to realize that everything we have comes from God. He is the provider. Then it's not so scary to give away because we can trust that God can give what we need daily. Of course, one can give away more than just money or material possessions. Generosity is also about who and how you are as a person. Jesus lived an open life and gave of himself to all who came his way. He gave his time, his attention, he shared his gifts and talents. He mentored people and shared his life with a joyful heart. Two invitations for the week. Consider as a family what you can give to someone. Maybe it's a nice meal or something baked. Maybe it's a toy you no longer use or a bike that is now too small. The second, give something you can't hold in your hand. Maybe it means taking a walk in the park with your children and paying undivided attention to them as you book out a piece of your day. Maybe it's deliberately giving someone a compliment that can really use the encouragement. May you and your household once again become aware of God's generosity in your life. Take in what God gives you and allow it to fill your heart with gratitude. Until next week, goodbye.